One of your dogs was being a degen the other day. Hey, what's that? What's that? Don't let the dog lick your boot. Nothing good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. What's the problem? Your boots are covered in piss. You accuse me of washing my boots in the toilet again? All dude's shoes are covered in piss, from standing in front of the toilet or the urinal. Your stream hits the water or the porcelain, it goes fucking everywhere. You prove it. No, he's right. You ever take a look at the area, half the foot in front of a urinal? It's like a miniature swamps. Ants can ride sea through it. Ants can't ride no sea Of course, ants can't ride no sea Just don't let the dog lick your boots. I mean, not to be an expert on the subject, because of course everybody's a fucking expert. Well, everybody's a fucking expert. Must be nice. You know, when I was coming up, we'd be lucky to even have the dog. Now everyone's a fucking expert. Must be nice. You guys ever notice that when there's a problem, everybody turns into a dog expert? We gotta leave this world behind. Maybe they could. Maybe who could? Ants. Could what? Ride sea -dews. Good buddy. See, there's a lot of variables at play here, obviously. But if you ask me if I've heard crazier things than ants riding CDs, I'd say sure. You'd need a scientist. You'd need a team of scientists, I think. Well, ants is smart enough to walk single file and protect their queens, so you know they're just a stone's throw away from humans, intelligence-wise. They're a hop, skip, and a jump if you really think about it. If you get a scientist, make CD for an ant? Well, I think a team of scientists, a good one, for sure could. A scientist making CDs for ants would be a tireless job. Thankless likely, too. Well, you operates the gas with your thumb on a sedu, so ants don't got thumbs. That right there is your first obstacles. Well, you'd have to get scientists to make the gas a push button so the ant could just put his foot on it. It's like if a team of scientists was building a sea for an ant, they could likely just as easily build the ant a bionic thumb to operate the gas with. So there's options there. Yeah, the ant would need a license to operate a personal watercraft. That's not a big deal. You can get that over the weekend, big bang boom. Well, the scientists would have to build them a PFD because they wouldn't let them take the course without it. Ants would have no problem stabilizing themselves out on the sea dew on account that they got more arms and legs than we do. They got a leg up on us there if he wants to be clever about it. If I'm an ant, I'm operating the sea dew with my antennas. That way I've got all those arms and legs to stabilize myself on the machine, which you'd need, like, if it's a wavy day on the water. It'd still take a lot of concentration from an ant. Like, the ant's gonna fall off two, three times when he gets going. It was just trial and error. I don't know. I don't know what. The thing about Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The thing about how helpful and resilient the ant was the entire journey. You know what, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. The kids might never have got unshrunk if it weren't for the ant. That's all well and good, but I'm actually quite surprised you guys would suggest that the ants would just up and abandon his post protecting the queens to go ride and seduce. Well, you don't know that ant, Dan. You know nothing about the ant, Dan. That's rather presumptuous, have you? You're an ant coming up in a tough neighborhood. You never caught a break in your life. All of a sudden, there's a team of scientists outside your door with a sea dew. Dan, look me in the eye right now and tell me you don't ride it. Dan's buddies would be thrilled to help him out. They would happily cover his ship protecting the queen. For an opportunity like that, they'd be lined up around the ant hill. How many more opportunities like that you think the ant's gonna get? Not many. That's the first ant in the colony to ride a sea dew. That's his legacy. They'd be talking about that ant intercolonial. Fire ants wouldn't fuck with him. He rides sea dews. What's the alternative? No, what's the alternative? Work on an ant farm? That ant's got a life on the outside. He's gonna live it, goddammit. His hours might have got cut. Might have mouths to feed, you don't know. His wife's thinking about leaving him, taking the kids too. I was out of line. Well, good people make mistakes, Dan. Yeah, it's all right, it's just like, I don't know, like down the road, I think if you hear somebody talking about somebody that they don't really know, you'll swiftly correct them. I think it's important that we just learn something here. Not to be an expert, because everybody's a fucking expert. Must be nice. <laughs>